good morning good this morning is the student. third part of the today, plant growth regulator we will be dealing with the topic bio acid part we will be going plant growth we'll regulator about that the is bio acids of abscisic acid the plant growth retardant and the gaseous plant hormone that is ethylene i am dr vibha khanna now ethylene the gaseous plant hormone it regulates a range of physiological processes in the plant uh, life cycle ranging from the germination the development of the root the uh, in the uh, when this plant led the seedling it comes out of the soil the opening of that hook part it its effects the ranges from at point or in the life cycle to the senescence the fruit ripening that is uh, particularly in climatic fruits various stress responsive responses and many more so by now we know very well that bio assays they are based on some of the physiological role of the plant growth regulator the much talked about bio assay or this ethylene they are the triple response the tomato leaf epinestry test and the pea stem swelling test the principle of this triple response assay is that under dark conditions more of ethylene is diffused from the plant and this ethylene it affects the orientation of cellulose microfibrils in the uh, growing expanding yeah elongating cells so it is based uh, on this principle now it results in the sub apical thickening of the stem there is reduction in the rate of elongation apart from that the horizontal growth that is it the uh, seedling it is neither it neither grows in the direction of the gravity nor against it it exhibits transverse geotropism this ripple response effect is observed and uh, made use of for this particular essay the test seedling they are exposed to different concentrations of ethylene and the dark grown that is etiolated seedlings that taken which are exposed to these different concentrations of ethylene and these three responses the degree of these three responses they are noted like here when this concentration is 0.1 ppm this elongation is there more as compared to the effect of 0.8 ppm of ethylene here the swelling of node is more this hook the apical hook which opens it has not opened yet because of the effect of this ethylene that is there is the exaggerated apical hook formation so the second bio assay for ethylene is the epinestic response of tomatopetioles epinestry is generally observed in plants in response to flooding of roots because as we had talked ethylene has a role under stress condition more of ethylene is produced under stress condition and hence in a flooded plant the leaves they droop down the bend they exhibit epinestic movement because of more growth on the adaxial surface as compared to the abaxial surface of the petiole
here this is a healthy tomato plant and when exposed to this ethylene it exhibits drooping down or leaf epinestine here there is more growth on the abaxial uh, on the upper surface as compared to that on the lower surface the young healthy tomato plants for this particular essay they are used and they are exposed to the test substance in a closed environment for 2 to 3 days closed environment because we know that this plant growth regulator it is gaseous so what we are doing is we have to expose this healthy tomato plant to different concentrations of the substance the plant growth hormone so this plant material from which this ethylene is diffused out is placed along with this tomato plant in some closed environment say under a bell jar and after 2 to 3 days of such exposure the epinestic growth is measured next is the p stem swelling test this was basically designed by cherry in 1973 and he used p seed links to measure ethylene concentration because under the impact of ethylene stem swelling is observed and this swelling it can be expressed in the form of a ratio of weight to length that is the stem weight and determine its length in general 1 ppm of ethylene ratio for 1 ppm of ethylene this ratio of weight to length is about 4 now about the second growth regulator the growth retardant uh, whose bio essay we are going to deal with today it's the abscisic acid now abscisic acid is a major stress hormone it helps the plant to adapt to different stress and this is done by regulating different physiological phenomena like the stomatal movements the bud development or the seed dormancy or the bud dormancy this abscisic acid has got one more characteristic feature and that is it exhibits antagonistic effect to various other and growth regulators particularly the gibberellin so abscisic acid it can decrease or overcome or even reverse or counteract and inhibit the response of various growth promoting hormones hence it is the growth retarding hormone so the bio essays for this abscisic acid they include the inhibition of cucumber hypocotyl elongation the rice seedling growth inhibition test then the inhibition of alpha amylase synthesis in barley endosperm test the stomatal closure of mung bean hypocotyls or the acceleration of abscission in the petiole explants in this seedling the the hypocotyl growth has been inhibited under the influence of abscisic acid so in order to proceed for this bio essay the hypocotyls from the seedlings of the uh, this cucumber 0 to 5 mm below the cotyledons that excised and this work is done in dim light in green light in safe light so that the seedling growth is not much affected by the environment now the excised hypocotyls they are then placed in 50 ml of flask containing 1 ml of test solution and this test solution it has got 2 millimoles of sodium phosphate of pH 5.8 the 40 millimoles of potassium chloride 
and the abscisic acid standard which is to be assayed. The bottles containing that test hypocotyls are placed on a shaker under darkness at 28 degrees centigrade and they, then they are shaken at 10 rpm for conditioning. Now, after about 20 hours of incubation, the samples, they are exposed to continuous rotation on a roller wheel, which is set at 1 rpm. The length of hypocotyl is then measured on a dissecting microscope using a micrometer after about 24 hours of exposure to the light. Under these conditions, the inhibition of the hypocotyl elongation is proportional to the concentration of the basic acid, uh, abscisic acid applied. I'm saying under these conditions, what we mean is that 20 hours of incubation followed by 24 hours of exposure to light. Now, the second bioassay for abscisic acid that we are going to talk about today is the inhibition of alpha amylase synthesis in barley endosperm test. Abscisic acid, it is the antagonistic hormone. It prevents the activity of gibralic acid. So this ABA, it inhibits the synthesis of alpha amylase in the aileron layer, which is triggered by the gibralins. Now, this bioassay was developed to estimate the ABA activity by determining the extent of inhibition of alpha amylase synthesis induced by treating barley seed endosperm with gibralic acids. Next is the rice seed uh, seedling growth inhibition test. This was devised by Mohanty, Ajaneulu and Sridhar and they used rice growth inhibition method to measure abscisic acid like activity. In this case, the length of the second leaf sheath was measured to determine the impact or effect of abscisic acid like activity. Now, up to this point, we have talked talked about the various bioassays that has been a classical method to determine the presence of a chemical the potency of the given plant growth retardant. But if we talk of the current status of these bioassays, these classical methods, they have now been replaced by modern methods in which there is first the separation and quantification of the plant growth substance by means of high performance liquid chromatography and gas chromatography. And this is followed by mass spectrophotometry to provide the proof of the structure of the plant growth regulator. Now, immunoassay methods, they are also used, which are rapid and far more sensitive than these bioassays. So, the world of science is moving. We have to keep together the classical methods and move along with the present, the modern methods. So this concludes this topic of bioassays of various plant growth regulators. Thanks for patient listening.